Hey everybody, Rory from ANS Gear. We've got in front of us today the Warrior Paintball Tactical Shotgun Scabbard. So what this is, is a case or bag for shotguns, whether it be an airsoft style shotgun, um, a paintball style shotgun, or if you are into like shooting with real shotguns, I'm sure you could use this for that. Uh, it might not be as rugged as you need it to be, although paintball players and airsoft players are pretty heavy on abuse when it comes to equipment. So this should hold up for you. It's, it's not the fanciest of shotgun scabbards, but it definitely will suit the needs of most of our airsoft paintball or real shooting players. Let's kind of just look over the, the outside of it. So um, depending on how you want to set it up or which side you want to call the front or the back, doesn't really matter. You've got some D-ring loops right here with a over the shoulder sling so you can wear it and kind of like whip that shotgun out from behind you if you wanted to. You've got all sorts of webbing on the front and back or left and right or whatever it is. So you can put attachments on here. You can weave your molly attachments on there. You could also weave this onto something else and just make it part of that bag if you wanted to as well. You've got more D-rings so you can carry it this way if you wanted to change these over to here and carry it from the side. It does have a handle that you can carry with. Um, and all of these looped attachments that you see on here are buttoned. So you can't take them off and move them anywhere you want. Now that's gonna come in very handy with different size and style shotguns. If you've got a stock, a handle, a collapsible stock, short note, whatever it happens to be, you're going to be able to need to adjust this to fit the needs of the gun. So these all can come off and be adjusted. This strap can be adjusted. Uh, the D-ring mounts cannot be adjusted, so they kind of are as they are. But however you need to do it can be adjusted. It's set up right here for a short style shotgun, like a sawed off style, but just undo that clasp and this folds open to accommodate longer setups. So I've got a couple down here. We'll just go ahead and slide them in and kind of see how we might want to change it around to set it up. We'll start with this small one right here, this little pistol grip shot sawed off. We're going to close that back up. I'm going to drop this down inside here. And this gets covered all the way up down here. Now we can't adjust this anymore. We can tighten it up a little bit, but it's not, we can't change how far this folds up into here. Um, actually, you know what, you could. You could adjust that if you wanted to. You could take this, fold it up like this, take one of the other clasps maybe that you weren't gonna use and move it over here and connect it like that. So it is possible. We're gonna stick with the way it is set up right now because we want this to come all the way down in there. Now from here, we've got one loop here, one here. We've also got just this little class right here. This one, we can't change. We're gonna snap that one right on there. But we could take this one and we could move it over to here. And again, you can do this for whatever size shotgun you're working with. I'm going to undo this one and move it over to here and actually snap it together. And then we could fold that, come right over the top here, connect that together and tighten that up. There we go. Now the shotgun could roll to the side and the handle could stick out, but that's why you've got this other little clasp right here to keep that from going out that way. We might be able to even use, well, we want to keep the top secure. So I'd more worry about this than bringing that over anyway. You could take one of these off possibly and go around the outside of it. There's all sorts of options for what you want to do. So we're going to undo this one. We'll set you over here. Now we're going to go one side up to this one right here with the collapsible stock, but we will need to extend this open and then we can slide that all the way down in here. Now, if we're going to do this one, we close that up. I would bring this one out again. And I'd probably leave it in the way it is right there. That's going to keep it from coming out this end over here, just like that. Again, 
These are meant to be adjusted. There is no one perfect way to set this up. I'm gonna leave that closed. Oi, that's heavy. Now, the big Bertha, right here. I'll put this one down in there. You can see how much further this one sticks out the back, but unlike these two, there's no pistol grip sticking off the bottom of this one. So this, this one would be a little bit more tricky. I would wanna make sure that I'm probably coming around here. I might use one of these straps to come around and tighten this up. I might mount this one further over here and bring it around this way. That's a good idea, like that. We could put that on there and just wrap this around and snap these together right here. Kind of like, see if I can get this one through here. Like that. This one could come around like this and tighten that up. Now, this could still come out of here. So I might look into something to keep that in there. But if you're wearing it on your back and you want to be able to whip that thing out, this might be perfect for that. If you're carrying it sideways, like attached to a gun or something, or a case, I would be concerned about how this might slide out of here and look for something that I could put around the top, maybe like this, to collapse that down. But it's up to you, however you want to do it. Again, lots of options when it comes to um, tightening this bag up and making it accommodate what you want it to. But all sorts of options right there. Molly setup, collapsible bottom, adjustable top. It's got the straps on it. It's got everything you need. It's the Warrior Tactical, uh, Warrior Paintball Tactical Shotgun Scabbard. Fits all sorts of size shotguns. Available at ansgear.com.